Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Surjan Bonik and in this video, I will be showing you how to convert from Java to Python in just 10 minutes. Um, I hope the video is going to be just 10 minutes. Excuse me if it's it gets a bit long. Uh, so in the video is I'm making this video mainly for my two of my friends who are really very lazy towards the big videos of Python but wants to know Python so I'm making it for them and I hope it would be helpful for you guys too. And in this video I'm gonna be covering the very basic parts of Python but if you want to know in detail I would be putting a new channel's link in the description box which we have created, me and some of my friends have created that challenge, Nardi Anda, and Tahir would be covering the Python series in detail there. So, see you there too. Thank you. Okay, so in Java, usually the first code we write, not in just Java, in every programming language, the first code we write is hello world. So in case of Java, what we have to do is like write a class name, then public static void main string ARGS, and then this curly braces, and then system.out.println hello world. And this program is gonna print just this line hello world. But in case of Python, we get rid of all of these tabs and just write print hello world. That's it. No semicolons, no class name, no main function, no nothing. And while concatenating, instead of a plus sign, we use a comma. After the string, uh, you can write a variable or another string if you wish. So that's it. Okay, now assigning variables and operations. While in Java, we have to declare the variables type before declaring the variable. In this case, in Python, w you do not have to do it. You just write double x is equals to 2, and Python would figure it out itself, wh whether it is an uh, integer value, float, or a string, or whatever. So that is a very big plus point. And speaking of plus, <laughs> let's add some numbers. <laughs> These things work exactly the same way like in Java. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And multiplication, division. Okay, so in division there is an interesting thing. Like, if you divide two integer numbers in Java, it is gonna show a integer result. But in Python, they got rid of this bug and it prints a float value which it should actually practically like any a calculator and modular sign is there and the power sign I mean you have to use two stars to mean 4 to the power 3 64 so you do not actually need to import math library and then the power method for that and now the conditionals okay so the, now the conditionals are a bit interesting cuz as we do not use any curly braces in Java, I mean in Python, so how do we define the blocks? And in this case, a unique thing in Python that is indentation. You must do the indentation properly, otherwise it won't work. So instead of the curly braces, you just indent. That means you just put some spaces and Keep the part that you want to do inside a uh, if condition indented in a uh, sli slightly right. You do not use any parentheses, just use a colon to start the condition and then the actions here, print or whatever. And while we use else if in Java, in Python they <laughs> shrinked it to li just elif. I don't know, else if was fine too, but elif and else there is else. And like th the if condition applies for this part only, print, and then they de intended the elif, so it is gonna work separately and gonna do uh, print this medium. And then again the else, and then this print you can see that the indentation gap here. So this print works under this else statement but this print would work anyway i mean it's just 
indented in this line so that's it so you have to be careful about the indentation while creating loops conditions or even defining functions which we'll be learning in a bit and now the while loop so in while loop in java we write the code kind of in this way and in python as i have mentioned before no curly braces you just indent it and instead of uh, double black sl slashes for a comment you use a hash sign but in python this function doesn't work actually n minus minus won't work but you can do it n is equal to n minus one or n minus one equals to one that works too and so that is the while loop and for for loop okay now in for loop is a bit different in python the syntax is kind of like this for x in range 9 print x here by default the x is 0 so you do not have to initialize the x and it is gonna print this code is gonna print from the number 0 to 8 that means the in range 9 means it is gonna 9 from the range so 0 to 8 but what if we want to like set the range from a particular uh, integer not from 0 so in that case you do this write the thing you want to start from the number 3 and then 9 so it's gonna print 3 4 5 6 7 8 and stop there it won't reach 9 but in both of those uh, loops and the incrementation works in uh, one difference so it just increases by one number but if you want to increment it in a more number so like in this case this part is totally as same as the previous one this one uh, starts from 3 and goes up to 65 but in this case the loop is gonna increment by 9 okay now and the final thing <laughs> methods this is the most simplest thing ever you just define a method that is in J python we call it a function like def literally you say def great that is your method's name and indent and say what is gonna what this method is gonna do for keep keeping it simple we're just gonna say the method it's gonna just return this string hello and now in application like say I'm gonna print create print and then I'm uh, calling the function great and then Ari that is my friend's name and Piku so <laughs> it's gonna print hello Ari hello Piku so you didn't have to write hello both times you just write for it although it doesn't look that much efficient because <laughs> either way you're writing something but in that in case you had more things in here it would have helped but you get the basic idea right and you can also pass parameters in that case let's say this is an example like i'm gonna create uh, this grid again but this time i'm gonna pass a parameter fandom and like in java you have to say string fandom or string int i mean int fandom but in this that case as i have mentioned before you do not have to mention the type of the variable java is gonna figure it out itself so you just pass the parameter and uh, you just put some conditions or you can modify the method as you want say if the fandom is hp then return avadakadavra else if elif the fandom is naru you return almighty oh, push like pen say pain says else if they type something else just <laughs> say them to get some fandoms and for example i'm doing it here so print create and i'm passing this parameter hp java and it's uh, this string so it's gonna print avadakada for java and in some case print create naru it's gonna print almighty push corona and in the list case the else case it's uh, like great blur bro so it's gonna say get some fandoms bro and that's it